someone who carries the batting of his entire team on his broad shoulders, 31-year-old Christopher Henry Gale has been a prolific run-getter, with six of his 13 centuries having been scores of over 150. But a big score has eluded him since 2005 when he struck a career-best 317 against South Africa in Antigua. Since then, captaincy has come to him and so have riches through the Indian Premier League. But his hunger for a big score has been on Gale's mind for some time now, having scored three centuries in 20 test innings until November 2010. But a three-match test series against Sri Lanka seemed to be a good opportunity for the Southpaw to get a big one. The picturesque Gaul International Cricket Stadium was a perfect setting for a gale of innings. West Indies had not won a series against Sri Lanka since 2005 and they had a new captain in Darren Sami. The toss was won by Sami and the decision to bat first was a good one. Chris Gale and Adrian Barrett walked into bat for the Windies. The former captain was not sure-footed in the beginning with Damika Prasad causing all sorts of problems. The Gales find it difficult to locate this ball. He's played and missed on at least three occasions. The ball didn't bounce too much also. In fact, going to the keep on the second bounce, the ball staying down a little bit from uh, Damika Prasad. It took some time for Gale to sort out his rhythm and then he picked Tilan Tushara for some special treatment. Nice shot. He was really asking to be tucked away because it was a long half volley from Tilan Tushara and uh, off the middle of the bat and controlled by Gale. Yeah, Gale has been waiting for this. It's been a long time. A lot of the deliveries that he's faced have been concentrated outside that off stump. On this occasion, the bowler just over pitching. With that big bat of his, he just has to lean on it and races away. That was even better from Gale. Again, the dominant bottom hand, working the ball onto the onside with the angle. Can't help to think that uh, Tulan Tashara here has just lost a little bit of uh, patience with the, uh, the battle against Gale. In the air, right back overhead, that's a big hit by Chris Gale, typical Chris Gale. Hit it with certainty, he really has now overcome his early uncertainty. And he was very uncertain early on. And that's a fine hit over long off. With Ajanta Mendes coming on, Gale wanted to set an example for his team. He straight away tried to dominate Mendes, a bowler whom most of the West Indies batsmen on tour had no inkling of. Gale had a close shave with Suraj Randeev aiming for the stumps. Gale mistimed the sweep and Sri Lanka pondered a review. Prolonged appeal from Randeev and Jaya Wardner. Now there is the UDRS system in this test. Will they call for a no? Or call for a review? The spinners continued to build pressure on Gale. Ajanta Mendes almost took his revenge. Seemed to be a little bit of an inside edge at some point on that. The question being asked by Sangakara, should he go for a review? Yes, he goes for it. So, it's the first use of the decision review system so far in this test match. What happens here now? He has a big inside edge. So, Chris Gale is uh, pretty safe and the Sri Lankans have lost one of their reviews. And he remains with his initial decision. I did think there was bat involved at some point there and also wide of the off stump. Now who was responsible, Ranul, for convincing Sangakara to use that review? Good luck and a solid partner was giving Gale good company. Darren Bravo was holding on the other end with a plomb. As Gale was inching to his century, so was his confidence. And that's a beautiful sweep shot. Hit square of the wicket and hit very firmly. Gal finds the boundary once again. Well, 50 partnership. He's dominated it. Suraj Randeev pitched it full again and Gale punished the bowler with the maximum. Down he goes, lofts it over the top. He's on the go, Chris Gale. Spectators scattering to get out of the way of Gale's fourth six. 
and he moves very quickly into the 90s. He's now 95. West Indies moving on to 167 for one. It's another big hit by Chris Gale, and uh, I think this nearly found itself on the bus to Colombo. There's a, a stream of buses behind the sight screen there, and uh, it's hit well over the boundary, very close to those buses, but uh, a lovely shot, a controlled shot, you'd have to say. With five more to go to his century, Gale dispatched the ball over long off. Down he goes again, down to long off, there's a fielder out there, and he goes back, and that's his hundred with a six, Chris Gale right over the top of the fielder and Chris Gale has got his 13th test 100 his first in the subcontinent <laughs> what a way to mark a hundred it's been a big innings for him he was replaced by captain by Darren Sammy somewhat controversial circumstances big innings for him here he's proved his worth that whether he's captain or not makes no difference to him Gale's 13th century was based on determination and a plan to make a good start work for him and the team, something he was confident about on the morning of the game. Well, I'm hitting it well and that's only in the nets, but um, we see what happened in the game. So, you know, like I said, you know, once you can get a good start on these sort of wickets and based on the experience I saw over here, I mean, it should be good to bat in, good, for, good to bat in. And, you know, once you get that you know, sort of start, then you should actually try and capitalize as much as possible. West Indies were on course for a very good first day total and more was to come from Gale's Blade. After the break, it's a record which fits just right for the big hitter. Welcome back to Great Centuries. West Indies opener Chris Gale is going strong at 172 and is set to bat long and notch records along the way. And one bowler who helped him accumulate at will was off spinner Suraj Randeev. Safe, it was in the air but uh, backward of that fielder at point. And uh, it's gone. It has gone for four. Chris Gale looking to elevate the ball over cover but finding the thick edge. Wow. Well, that has gone a very, very long way. That's out of the ground. Chris Gale on that occasion using his feet and hitting that ball over mid off and it going well over the stadium. What a wonderful strike. Yes, he really did smack it. Probably one of the biggest hits uh, we've seen on this ground. Gave himself room to uh, swing his arms, came down the track. Get very close to the ball, but uh, that was done intentionally so that uh, he could get elevation, he could get distance. Randeev had put the shackles on Gale after this onslaught, but Gale found an innovative way to break free. Now there's the reverse sweep by Gale. I don't think I've ever seen him do the reverse sweep. Well, that's the first time he's got four off for it. Heaven knows how. Let's have a look. Given four. It's gone very fine, <laughs> very unlike where a reverse sweep would go, it would rather go pretty square, but this time right behind the keeper. Well, two in a row now, and he's connected with that one really well. First one, not so well. Both of them producing boundaries. Gale pushes on, and the West Indies continue to pile on the runs. Well, it's becoming very difficult for the Sri Lankans because Gale's connecting his reverse sweeps too quite well. That's the last river sweep that went uh, to deep cover. So he's got two river sweeps in the over. That's his answer to that. Uh, that's the first one. That went very fine and this time square. With Gale on an over drive, the Sri Lankans had to grab every opportunity that came their way. Oh, there's a chance there. Gale coming down the wicket and blasting that past Randiff. It's certainly catchable, but uh, only to the brave. Blasting it through Randiv is more like it. What a shot. Chris Gale, before the ball was bowled, gave himself room outside the leg stump to go in out over cover. And 
uh, more of it. Most sixes that Chris Gale has hit in the test innings. Gale now has 74 sixes in tests, which puts him seventh in the list of batsmen with more sixes. Oh, that's in the air. That could be out. It will be out. Surely it's taken. Sam Oliveira takes an easy catch. And it's a disappointing end to a good innings from Darren Bravo. Yeah, Darren Bravo on this occasion looked to pull the ball away on the leg side and getting a top edge. With the loss of Darren Bravo, West Indies finished day one at 362 for two. Bravo and Gale made the record for the highest second wicket partnership at goal, surpassing the 181 run stand between Paranavitana and Sangakara. Day 2 started on a slippery note for Gale. At 219, the West Indian was looking to beat his personal best of 317, but the very first ball of the day by Ajanta Mendes Fox Gale. Big appeal, first ball, not out. Will they review it? Well, a sensational start. Yes, they have asked for the review. First ball of the day. Well, was there an inside edge? Bad and bad, squeezed. But otherwise, it was pretty straight, I thought. A long stride. Yeah, there's about first ball of the day, and that's failed. Unsuccessful. Gale survived again, and he became circumspect in his innings to the extent that he left all six deliveries peacefully off to Shara. This was one of the underlying features of his approach on day two. From an attacker, he had become an accumulator. Although Sri Lanka were trying to restrict and entice Gale to make a mistake, the Jamaican picked his balls with patience for some clean hits. That's the thing with Gale, he's been hemmed in, he's on the defensive mostly, but as soon as the ball is there, picks it up very early and hits it hard down the ground for the second boundary of the day, his second too. Edge, no second slip, four runs to vacant third man. Well, perhaps an opportunity missed, but it's 400, three wickets down. You don't usually have in more than a, a slip for a batsman who is well past 200. Milestones continue to come Gale's way as he scampered to his 250. That's his 254, Chris Gale. Raises the back, just a little celebration. Nothing too extravagant, nothing too unusual. But Gale would have an unusual score in mind, especially surpassing his personal best of 317 and maybe beyond. Gale's innings also saw him go past New Zealander Stephen Fleming's record of 274 to become the only overseas batsman to blast the highest score on Sri Lankan soil. There is plenty more action in great centuries, including how a stroke of luck saved Gale from being dismissed. Welcome back to Great Centuries. It is the first test against Sri Lanka at Gaul and West Indies have started off on the right note. They are 478 for 3 on the second day and opener Chris Gale is on 286 not out and in sight of a record score. We cast the action with Damika Prasad polling to Gale. Now that's gone. That is a big effort from Damika Prasad. He has not stopped running in all the way through the play in this test match. That is a huge effort to get Gale on 287 with a short delivery. No wonder he's down. Big effort. Yes, indeed. A tremendous effort by Damika Prasad. And Chris Gale is uh, waiting. No 
only speculate that maybe it's Brendan Nash who maybe spotted something and alerted Chris Gale. This is what we were talking about. You can't afford something like this to happen. Real drama, Sammy. Yeah, no ball, so it's a reprieve. Oh, that was an interesting cricket. Very interesting cricket. Gale is riding on good fortune and he gets ever so close to the 300 mark. At 297, he is on the brink of a landmark innings. A much coveted score that will catapult him to the Hall of Fame. Well, he's broken the field there. The two short covers, he split the two of them and he's reached the 300. What an innings. Terrific shot to bring up his 300. Chris Gale in the middle of the wicket on his knees and his teammates applaud. What else can you say? It's uh, a touching moment. He has a big smile on his face. Congratulated by the Sri Lankan captain, uh, Kumar Sangakkara. What a wonderful innings it's been. There's no doubt about it, everyone who's uh, seen this has appreciated the 301 by Chris Gale now. It joins uh, a very select band of cricketers who've made uh, two triple centuries. That's a moment to remember on the 16th of November 2010, mid-afternoon in goal. Definitely a red letter day as Chris Gale became only the fourth test cricketer to crack two triple centuries. He is now in the August company of Sir Don Bradman, Brenda Saibag and Brian Lara. It's good to be um, such um, in the class of um, you know the great players you just mentioned there. So I'm happy with the performance and you know I'm really you know looking forward to this and you know, hopefully I actually can build on this sort of start. Over the top, and this is big. This is big. The first six of the day for Chris Gale. And what a great shot. Straight over mid-off, using his feet and timing it perfectly. In a succession of milestones, Chris Gale not only surpassed Yunus Khan's record of the highest individual test score for a batsman in Sri Lanka, but also his personal best of 317 that he made in 2005. But just after reaching his career best, a hamstring injury forced Gale to call for a runner. Darren Bravo is going to come out and run for Chris Gale. After a bout with the physio, Gale was back on his feet. Darren Bravo as the runner afforded him to free his arms once again. Gale just slung away and the onside gets a boundary for it. I just wonder with this uh, injury whether Gale will now decide, well, I'm hobbling around. We've got a big score on the board and perhaps we see a more of this. Now that'll be four, I think. Fielder can't get around. Gale's found exactly where he was looking for. And Boundary just standing up straight and punching. Well, he would like the ball coming on to him because he doesn't need to make much movements. He can hit it from where he is. With his restriction, it won't be too much of a problem. Plenty of width outside your stuff. Not anymore. Because Mendes has gone through Chris Gale. Mendes coming into his own here belatedly. It's been a marathon effort by Gale. And uh, just by dint of that, we assume there's no review called for. But what an effort from Chris Gale. Beautifully bowled by Mendes, but Chris Gale is getting uh, recognised by all the Sri Lankans congratulating him on what was a wonderful innings. 333, a marathon performance. He's batted so well over nearly two days. He's shown us his ability to hit the ball out of the ground, into the pickets, and also his ability to bat long periods of time, which takes great concentration. A tremendous achievement here in Gaul. Chris Gale is now out. And uh, the Sri Lankans are starting to make some inroads 
into this West Indies side. Chris Gale's innings of 333 broke many records and set many milestones along the way, including that of the highest away score by a West Indies batsman, surpassing Vivian Richards' 291 at the Oval. The triple century had perfectly set up the match for West Indies as Sri Lanka were made to follow on, but bad weather spoiled any chance of a result. Nonetheless, the Gaul International Stadium and the lucky spectators had been treated to a scintillating innings from the Calypso King.